Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abigail and I'm a mum, a wife and nurse manager. Today I've got 15 reasons as to why you should become a nurse. As you're watching this video, drop your thoughts and your comments in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already done so, do subscribe to my channel for more videos and don't forget to turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss another one of my videos. Stay tuned. So welcome back. The first reason I think you should become a nurse is the money. Okay, let me explain. I know in the UK and Ireland the money isn't exactly great, although I do think personally the money is a little bit better in Ireland than that of the UK's. The average salary for a nurse in Ireland per year is about 36 to 38,000 euros, depending on your level of experience, your specialty and your role. And then obviously if you're a newly qualified nurse, you'll be earning less than that. And then in the UK, it's between 26 to 27,000 pounds on average per year. Also like Ireland, depending on your level of experience, your role and your specialty. Also, the calculation of those averages is debatable as well, depending on how you look at it, because the population in the UK is far more than that of Ireland's. And when you look at it in terms of the population of nurses as well, it's far more in the UK than that of Ireland's. And if you're working in London, the average is a little bit higher than the average that I've given for the UK in general. And also with career progression in both the UK and Ireland, you're obviously going to earn more money than the averages that I've given for both countries. Okay, enough of that. Let's get to the good stuff. In Canada, the average salary per year for a nurse is about $80,000. In the US and in Australia, it's about $73,000. And if you go to the Middle East, it's about fifty-five dollars to $60,000 tax-free and there's a lot of other perks that come with that as well depending on where you go in the Middle East and what hospital you're working in you can avail of free medical care and um, sometimes the flights are paid for you can avail of free accommodation and sometimes it can be generous with their annual leave as well so there's so many things to look into and the reason I'm throwing so many figures and these different countries at you is because if your personal situation permits or allows, absolutely travel out to these places. Go to these places, make an earning, make an income, save your money and come back and do whatever it is you want to do with your life, whether it's you want to look into a mortgage or whether you want to start a business, whatever it is you want to do, you can go to these places, make this money and put it to good use, whatever you count as good use. You're not stuck in one place is what I'm trying to say. So although the salary isn't exactly great in the UK and in Ireland, there's so many other places that you can go to that you can earn so much more money, save it and use it for whatever it is you want to use it for. I have a lot of friends and people that I've trained with in college and also people that I've met along the way from working where I work that have moved out to these different countries. Some are in Australia, some are in the US. I have a number of friends in the Middle East earning these incomes so definitely look into this if your personal situation allows you can absolutely do it the next reason i have for you to become a nurse is job security like seriously you are almost guaranteed a job once you qualify unless your interview was poor you will get a job once you finish your nursing degree the next reason i have for you to become a nurse is that it is a stable industry nurses are in high demand according to a 2019 report by the bbc there are 30,000 more nurses needed in the UK and 5,000 extra nurses needed per year. In Ireland, according to a report from 2019, there are 30,000 whole time equivalents for nurses and midwives, which is about a thousand less than what it was back in 2007, which means it's dropping and there is high demand for nurses. And that's not all. On an international level, according to the World Health Organization, there is a global shortage of 5.9 million nurses and a great need to invest in nursing. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Seriously, I can go on and on about facts, but you better be ready with your nursing degree for when investments start to come into nursing and there's an increase in wages. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is that a nursing degree is available in just about every university, if not all, which means that accessibility is great in terms of location. Of course, that depends on what country you live in and that, but in general, a nursing degree is quite accessible. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is that nursing is a very well-respected profession and held to a very high ethical standard. Like seriously, don't get me started with when someone asks me for my profession. Oh my God, it's like... <laughs> Thank you. 
Like seriously, you can't tell me otherwise. I love my job and I love my profession. Honestly though, all you need to do is Google it. It's always in the top 10, if not the top five of the most trusted and respected professions. Like in America, it's been the most trusted profession for 17 years in a row according to Gallup's survey. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is that there is a wide variety of choice in terms of speciality. You can go into the emergency department, you can work in theater, you can work in ICU, you can work in orthopedics, you can work in oncology, you can work in hematology. If you want to further education as well and specialize more, you can go into pediatrics or midwifery by doing a short course once your primary degree is in general nursing. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is that nurses are essential in the healthcare institution. Like in actual fact, without nurses, doctors and surgeons couldn't do their jobs. Yes, I said it, shots fired. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is career progression. Now I talked about career progression in more detail in one of my videos um, and also did a personal account of my own career progression in another video which I will leave the links in the description box below and I will also leave a clickable link on the screen at the end of this video. But anyway, in terms of career progression in nursing, there are so many opportunities. You can go into management, you can go and become an advanced nurse practitioner, you can become a nurse prescriber, you can become a nurse anesthetist, you can even go into health informatics or nursing informatics down the IT side. So there is room for career progression, lots of room for career progression in nursing. I feel like there's so many good reasons to pursue a career in nursing and you know what I'm going to do another video on the downsides of nursing to be fair and I'll let you judge the pros and cons yourself and decide um, but anyway, the next reason I have for you to become a nurse is that you can work in various environments. You can work in a GP's clinic if that's what suits. Although it may not be as acute and as fast paced as it would be in a hospital setting, you can. I have many friends that work in GP clinics. Um, you can go into the prison services. You can work on a cruise ship or you can work as a sales rep for pharmaceutical companies. Also on the topic of cruises and traveling, don't let anyone fool you about not being able to travel in nursing. You absolutely can. I've traveled to so many different places while working as a qualified nurse. And to some of those places, I've actually traveled with a friend who is a nurse as well. Um, I'm currently updating my Instagram page, particularly the highlight section with all the places that I've traveled to. So do keep an eye out. I'm on Instagram at the nurse Abigail. So keep an eye out for those updates. I will be updating my page with all the places that I've traveled to. Don't let anyone fool you about not being able to travel in nursing because I have traveled to so many different places. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is receipt of benefits. Seriously, you have to look into this. You get so many benefits from being a nurse. You can get discounts from Nando's, you get discounts from Boohoo. I've personally gotten discounts from Boohoo. I remember one time as well, I went to a doctor to get some routine tests done. And after getting those routine tests done, I, in the conversation with the doctor, he came to know that I'm a nurse. Now, I didn't go out of my way to tell him that I'm a nurse, but he just came to know. So I was meant to pay 120 euros for these routine tests. And after he came to know that I'm a nurse, I ended up paying 60 euros. Seriously, you get so many benefits from becoming a nurse. Now, I'm not saying go into nursing because of the benefits, but if you're gonna go and get a nursing degree, you might as well take advantage of some of the perks that come with it and reap the benefits. The next reason I have for you to become a nurse is your ability to use your skills outside of work. Now, I'm not saying go around <laughs> being a nurse 24 seven and not having your days off as your days off, but like if you're out somewhere and an emergency happens, say somebody's choking with your skills, you can help, or maybe somebody collapses and becomes unresponsive, you can help because you have the skills. Another reason that you should become a nurse is that you can build amazing relationships with the patients that you care for and also with their families as well. And also you can build amazing relationships with your nursing friends that you work with and also other healthcare professionals that you meet along the way in the hospital. But seriously, a lot of my friends that I have now, a lot of my really close friends that I have now are nursing friends that I met while working where I work now. So you can build amazing relationships in nursing. Another reason you should become a nurse is that you can switch jobs relatively easily. Like if you need to move from one city to the other, you can find a job relatively easily. Now, if you're going international with it, depending on where you're going, they do different tests and the process might be a little bit more complex depending on where you're going. But nursing is a very well recognized profession globally. So it's relatively easy to switch jobs compared to a lot of other professions. Another reason that you should become a nurse is that your job can be exciting. Your work can be exciting. You go into work each day 
and you meet different patients with various medical conditions that you need to challenge and you need to help fix or manage. You have to constantly think on the spot and multitask and you can nearly feel the adrenaline rush. Now the final reason I have for you to become a nurse is that with your nursing skills, knowledge and expertise, you can pursue a different career. If you want to go into public health roles, you can with your nursing degree. And if let's say if you're into beauty or aesthetics, you can also go into that as well. I know some people that are into beauty or aesthetics, they go into dermatology with their nursing degree or become advanced nurse practitioners. And say if you're into beauty and you want to be able to administer Botox and things like that, you can. Depending on what country you're in and the legalities of that, you can actually do that with your nursing degree. You can do so many things with your nursing qualification. You just have to think outside the box. So that's it guys. I hope you've been able to find one or two of these convincing enough to pursue a career in nursing. And also don't discourage yourself with things like age or anything like that. Seriously, if you're worried about what you're going to be doing in four years from now, think about it like this. Whether or not you do that nursing degree, you are going to be three or four years older in three or four years time from now. So you might as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Leave all your comments in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already done so and turn on your bell notification so that you don't miss another one of my videos. Take care guys.